All right, final goodbyes for a member of Scranton's Catholic community today. Funeral services were held for Most Reverend James C. Timlin. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy joins us now live from Cathedral Cemetery in Scranton with more. Julie? Nick Candace, the burial for Bishop James Timlin just wrapped up here at Cathedral Cemetery just moments ago as members of the diocese parishioners all gathered this morning to pay their final respects. Bishop James Timlin passed away on April 9th in the early morning hours of Easter Sunday. The eighth Bishop of Scranton. Timlin served as Bishop of the Diocese of Scranton for almost 20 years. Monday morning, Eyewitness News spoke with people who came to pay their respects to the former bishop. He was loved all over the city, and he loved every one of us, and he loved every neighborhood. He was my friend, really. He was my friend, a good man. I always loved how he recognized everyone. You know, he never passed by without saying hello or greeting a person. That meant so much to us. Bishop Joseph Bambera celebrated the funeral mass Tuesday afternoon at the Cathedral of St. Peter on Wyoming Avenue. But Bambera shared a few words for those watching at home in a pre-recorded message. Many of you have shared recollections of the bishop's kindness, visiting sick family members in hospitals and hospice units. Timlin was accused in 2018 of covering up sexual abuse crimes by priests in the diocese during his tenure as bishop and he was stripped of his official duties. While one person cannot be blamed in totality for what has transpired, the impact is clear. The Church of Scranton has been deeply wounded by the sins of some of her members, and those wounds are most deeply experienced by the victims and survivors of child sexual abuse. During the funeral mass, a prayer petition was also read for those with painful memories of sexual abuse by clergy. The mass was filled with parishioners from all over the diocese. During the homily, Monsignor Joseph Quinn, pastor at Our Lady of Snows Parish in Clark Summit, spoke of a repeated line used by the bishop. It seems like only yesterday, and then he would go from there. Because it seems like only yesterday that he was the pastor of my home parish. Nativity of Our Lord in South Scranton. And yet that was 45 years ago. The native son of Scranton is now buried in Cathedral Cemetery. Now, Bishop Simlin was 95 years old. If you missed the Mass or you would like to see Bishop Bambera's full message to the diocese, you can head to our website, pahomepage.com. Nick Candace. Julie, thank you.